Sometimes they do. Oh, that's one way, mate. Do that. But all right. Oh. So I turned my music off here because I could clearly see that the police driver and the taxi driver were having a conversation. And I didn't know if he was in trouble for something, but the actual answer is a lot more amusing than that. Oh wow, I think the police were just asking that taxi if they could cut in front of him because they had the wrong way in. <laughs> oh, just shows everyone gets wrong, did it? Gets it wrong. Fucking try again, Charles. Just shows that everyone can get it wrong, doesn't it? Very, very humanising of the police, that. At least, at least they had the politeness to ask. You know, instead of just cutting them up. Police car. There was a police car all banged up on a lamppost. Look in the rear view. Holy shit! So what are you doing? What the fuck? Uh, that's the pavement. Well, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Why would you come through? Wow. What a donkey you are. You donkey! I can clearly see the phone in your hands there, mate. With the fag in the other. Somebody going the long, long way around. While on his phone! Fresh pass are not going. They, they just sat at a green light for ages and now they're going. <laughs> I thought they were going to go through the red then. I don't know what they're playing at. I don't know what they were doing. They just sat at a green light for ages. I'm assuming it's because they were too cheap to buy a, like a green pea plate or something. I've got to admit that's kind of amusing. Why didn't they just take it off? Because maybe they still enjoy having the L on. Do you remember what it was like when I still had the L on this and you took it for a drive and you realised everyone was letting you out? We're just going to close the clip. Oh, Kitty! <laughs> oh, fucking hell, Harry. I don't even need to add the sound effect in now. <laughs> Bloke in front just stalled because I saw his dash cam turn off and come back on again. <laughs> Good 
come on, come on, not again. That was fucking embarrassing. He was brushing his teeth with an electric toothbrush outside his car. Oh, <laughs> yeah, boy. There. I'm not risking potting one of my own windows with a ladder. <laughs> with it being icy as well and the, being a bloke stood there, I didn't want to take the chance there to be honest. That was Adrian. <laughs> it's been. Uh, hi! Hi! <laughs> Are you in a video being sacked away? For context, I only needed to be down this street, not use it as my route, so I never bothered going to the end to check if the signs about it being shut were correct. I feel the need to clarify this as the guy seemed a bit confused at me not knowing. Oh. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> It, honestly, I have no idea. Oh, okay. it's supposedly. There's traffic coming from that way, despite it being one way. So I have no idea. <laughs> nice Take to meet you. Easy. <laughs> hey, look at Charlie. Yes. <laughs> Only if I've subs, bro. Yeah, man. That's fucking sweet, bro. That's you... the first time that's ever happened to me, you know. That's fucking cool, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, that's made my day, that has. What are you doing? That was so unintelligent. I don't even have the fucking words. Wow. You forced me into the, f literally into the parking spaces. Wow. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Setback, this world sucks! That is a hazard perception zone there. What are you doing? Were they being hassled by security or something? I don't I mean, know what on earth was going on there. I that was a mess. I reckon two of them had had a fight, honestly. Welcome to Etic Extra, a brand new segment dedicated to showing the most exquisite of nice driving. After you. Oh, no, you first. I couldn't think of it. Today's first couple of clips are from my car. And uh, this is down Newland Avenue, a very iconic street in the series. It's pretty much Hazard Perception Boulevard. If you drive down there, you're more than likely to see something. That's a fine bit of etiquette from Mike there letting him go. And there's this chap stood in the road, just patiently waiting for a car to hit him. But Mike does the right thing and saves his life. He hangs back here to make sure that the ambulance isn't going to want to come around. Excellent little bit of driving, that. And then again here, stopping just on the edge of the yellow box where there's just enough space for the truck to get in between him and the cars parked on his left. Outstanding etiquette to your driving, Mike. Take a bow. Now here's one from Cloudmaker. That's a very... Uh, could have been a really messy situation, that, because of that cyclist. But thankfully, Cloudmaker and the car driver both do very well. You can tell it doesn't slow down, doesn't put his window down or shout abuse or anything. He just gives the cyclist loads of room as he normally would, and he gets some of his drive. And again, for the next couple of cyclists. Oh, good God, you're making a mess of that, aren't you?
And here's another clip with uh, no audio from my car, so I thought I'd do a bit of commentary over it. And this one is uh, rather amusingly called Lamp Chops Nearly. Exactly what are you doing? Fucking idiot. No way in hell, mate. No! You arse, though. You utter arse. <laughs> well done. Uh, fifth seat six of us were the deciding set seven five on his third half court. Fifth seat was understanding. Yeah, what an idiot. Oh my god. Careful as a kid, because you've got an IQ of a fucking turnip. <laughs> I was gonna let him cross. That's the rule, isn't it? The pedestrians have right away when they start crossing. I did stop for him, but he he decided to go back and try again. <laughs> I tried to be nice. I tried. I tried to be nice. That's the important thing. Oh, you gonna pay attention? Nope. <laughs> of course not. Look at this guy. <laughs> wow. Chose the most intelligent place to cross there, didn't they? Um. Okay. Okay. What's that cyclist doing? What a dickhead.